Hi, in this video we will see how to create quantity takeoff reports in Rhino with Visual Arc 3. And we will use the table report panel that we can find under the Visual Arc documentation toolbar. If we click on this button, we will open the table report panel that will list the information of the objects in the model. We can create a new table by clicking on this button. Now we need to select which table style we want to use. By default in Visual Art Templates, we can find some table styles for listing different object types. For example, in this case, we can select the openings. And there are two selection methods. We can create a dynamic table, so all objects of the valid types will be reported in the table, including the new objects that will be inserted in the model. Or we can select objects individually. In that case, the command will filter the selection automatically, detecting only the type of object corresponding to the table style. Now we select the dynamic table. So all the doors and windows are now listed in that table. And we can identify them in the model by selecting them from this list. If we double click on any of these items, we will do a zoom to the select object that is highlighted here. If we want to edit that object, we can do right click, select objects, and then we will be able to edit its properties from the corresponding object type properties panel. We can edit also some of the objects directly from the table panel. For example, in the case of that window that doesn't have any value for the reference, we can just click on this cell and type any text. We can also order this list by clicking on the corresponding property field header. We can also add some filters to this table using this filters option. If we click on this button, we will open the table filters and we can filter the objects displayed by the building or the level where they are located, by the object style, or by layer. For example, we can just select the objects in the floor 0 and floor 1. We click OK, and the table will update with the filters applied. We know if that table has some filters applied because this button will be highlighted. By the way, this icon next to the filters indicates if we are using a dynamic table. If we uncheck this, now the new doors and windows that we insert in this model won't appear in this list. When we are using a non-dynamic table, we can exclude objects from the table. For example, if we want to exclude that one, we'll click on this button and the object will be excluded. If we want to include it back, we'll select this button, select the object, and the window will be back in the list. We can edit this table style by clicking on this button. This will open the table styles dialog for this specific table style. For example, now we can display here the list of property fields and select this one, the opening side, Delete it, close the dialog, and the table will update with the changes. Now, let's create a new table style, in this case for listing the area of all doors in this model. I'm going to do right click on this icon to open the table styles dialog, and I'm going to select this button new to create a new table style. I'm going to name it as doors. Click Next, select the object type, so I will select Door, click Next, and add here the property fields that we want to see. In this case, I would just list the style. I will need to select the corresponding property and the area. Now, we can also 
group the objects by specific fields. In this case, I'm going to group all doors that have the same style. When I click Finish, the new table style for doors is created. And now we can see from the grouping tab that all the doors of the same style will be grouped in the table panel. We can also add totals at the end of the table panel. We need to apply that for each property field. So if we expand these property fields, we can select the area and from the totals tab, we can select the zoom option. There is also the option to, to measure the average or the count. We can do the same for the quantity field. We select the zoom and in this case, we can add here some text like total. We click OK. And now we can insert a new table to display this doors list. Click on this new table button, select the new table style we have created, click OK, and we can see here the total number of doors for each style, the total area, and the total amount of doors. Finally, we can insert that table in the model as a 2D table using this icon here. Or we can also export that table directly to Excel if we click on this button. We can define where the values show the length, area, volume or angular units, or if we use commas or dots as decimal separators. We click OK and we just need to select a folder and file format to export our table. And that's been an overview of the table report tool in Visual Arc to generate quantity takeoffs. Thanks for watching.